In a press conference on Monday evening, Prime Minister James Marape sternly warned lawbreakers that the country has no place for them. Marape said regardless of the individuals being a candidate, scrutineer, or part of the electoral process, lawlessness will not be tolerated. Marape said the national government, through recommendations from the National Security Council, has put in proposals for post-election related police operations to bring to account those responsible for the recent lawless activities seen and experienced around the country. Marape assured that not all parts of the country have fallen into chaos except Ligam, Kompiam Ambum, Makam, Kabum and Port Mosby just recently. That not all parts of our country are hotspots. It's unfair to the New Guinea Islands. It's unfair to the rest of Highlands. It's unfair to the rest of Momase. It's unfair to the rest of Southern Region and the rest of NCD to brand by one labeling or by one photo shot or video shot that Papua New Guinea has fallen into anarchy and uh, lawlessness. Assistant Commissioner for NCD and Central, Anthony Wagambi Jr., clarified that reports spreading through social media stating that there has been 13 deaths since Sunday's incidents outside the counting venue at the Sergeant Guy Stadium are false. Only two male adults were injured, one sustained a knife wound and the other lacerations to the back of his head. Wagambi Jr. said the incidents that took place Monday morning were instigated by opportunists who took advantage of the fear gripping the city since Sunday's incident. majority of these incidents were attend attended to by police. There were not major incidents, majority of them. These were opportunists. Opportunists who took advantage of the current situation and the rumors going throughout the city. So they, the opportunities they came in and it has become a law and order issue, which we have addressed. Wagambi Jr. said there is a need for accurate information to be shared in order to help ease the fear gripping the community. Mary Silla Kelaton, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.